What's crack a -like? It's your boy Barosh Mo, just in case you did not know so. And we're back again once again. This time taking a look at the reigning, defending AFC East champions and runner-up in the AFC well, Conference Championship game. The Buffalo Bills, we're going to take a look at the roster, try to devise a draft strategy, and then well, try to execute that strategy in a seven-round mock draft but go ahead become a bro and subscribe leave that thumbs up if you enjoy the content we will be here for a watch along for the nfl draft all three days we did it last year it was a hoot we're going to do it again this year so join us there for that we will have some guests coming on in during the draft so that ought to be fun as well and uh yeah uh plenty of videos coming to the channel this week busy week i mean it is the nfl draft that's kind of what this channel is here for and also we will have a 2022 nfl mock draft after well the 2021 draft wraps up so that ought to be fun also i'm gonna work we're gonna i'm gonna get back together with uh the hail mary podcast and we're gonna do our own little 2022 nfl mock draft that that's gonna be fun i i I love collabing with some of these guys, man, and especially uh, Alex there. Alex there is pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, indulge in that nice, beautiful football discourse. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's dive in. I'm going to switch over here, take a look at the roster. Um offensively the first thing that sticks out to me obviously is right guard i think they can improve the right guard they could use the draft they could i think this might be a very defensive draft but definitely right guard i won't mind dipping into the wide receiver class but totally not necessary it's just a good wide receiver class they do have gabriel davis he he looked pretty good last year i mean so much so that they decided not to continue with john brown bringing in emmanuel sanders um, but we could we could dip into that. That probably won't be till later. Some people want to do running back. Run back situation, in my opinion, is just fine. Zach Moss is quality. Devin Singletary is quality. That brought in uh Matt Bereda, who, yes, often hurt, but limited give him a limited role. He'll be fine. I think they're fine there. If you think they should go running back in the first round, you think that'll put them over the edge, that gets them in the Super Bowl. You're dead wrong. You're dead wrong. Uh, I'm sorry. What lost them that game was their defense. Their defense absolutely sucked. Well, against the Chiefs, not in general. But I think one of the top priorities in this class should be the corner position specifically. Well, the the number the corner two position. Levi Wallace is fine. I think he's a better depth piece. Dane Jackson looked pretty good in limited reps there, but still I th I would like to address that. Uh, Taron Johnson, you could definitely upgrade the slot. In my opinion, uh, they're fine at safety. They could like they could go and try to find depth, but like Poyer and Hyde, they're fine. Uh, I wouldn't mind looking for maybe another linebacker. Tremaine Edmonds is just bad in coverage. He was long, he was fast, and it just didn't work out. And then a lot of people, yeah, yeah, the defensive line probably does need a little bit of help too. Mainly, maybe a pass rusher, um, a big pass rusher. On the interior there they they don't have them listed on here but they got was a star uh was it oh lowy lowy to alayla man I, i'm bad at names slowly uh, yeah i'm bad at names i'm sorry they got their star there but he's not much of a passer he's not a three down guy like a guy that i'm kind of targeted for the interior here probably more of the fifth round is um Tonga at a BYU. Not that he wasn't that great of a run blocker or a run defender, but I think he is a very good pass rusher at his size. Uh, you could also make a case for Bobby Brown, but uh, the, the those guys fit the round, so they're going to be on my radar around that area. Edge rusher won't be bad because Jerry Hughes, you know, he's 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 a vet. And Mario Addison, ah, they, they could probably get rid of him next year. AJ Epines is fine, but they could definitely improve on that. So I'm probably looking corner edge the first couple of rounds. Um, if we could add a guard, that would be nice. Uh, I am allowed one trade in this mock draft. One trade. I can't seek it out. If one's offered to me, I'm allowed to take it. Uh, let's take a quick look at 
our picks. We got one, two, three, uh, two fifths, a sixth, and a seventh. So no fourth. Train down could be a possibility. So let's go ahead and let's start this sucker and see what happens. All right. Very interesting. I've been seeing um the uh the Dolphins mocked Jalen Waddle in a couple of these. Uh, and I don't I don't hate it. I don't disagree. If Jamar Chase is off the board. Uh I love Jamar Chase, man. I think he is easily the best receiver in this class. Easily. But uh look at it. Who's available? Like the edges are flying off the board. Um, what is the preferred trade here? Oh, it's not the Ravens. Um, gosh, it's such a like. I mean, we pick up an extra third, but I, I, I guess the Niners is the nah. It probably would be. It probably would be this. Let's counter offer just to see who's on the board. Um, I'm gonna switch over to my board so I know. Oh gosh, I I do like the idea of getting some speed off the edge. I think that's what we'll do. I just don't see it being available. Like what our next pick is at like 60. Yeah. No, our next pick would be the Bills second round pick. Yeah. Let's just go ahead. Let's grab our edge rusher here. Um, I want to make sure did. Yeah. Jalen Phillips is off the board. We're going to get Owe. I like Owe a lot. Some people don't think he's a first round talent. I disagree. Look at that pro day. He's got way more upside than um, his former teammate, Yatir Gross Matos. Um, so, yeah, I like that. Now we're probably looking at a trade. Oh, my gosh. You want my whole draft? No, forget that. I was tempted, but geez, Louise. Uh, this one I'm a little bit more tempted Wow, Aziz is still on the board? What the heck, dude? Uh, I mean, I guess we're if we're trading up here, I, I want a corner. Lafon was gone, so maybe Kelvin Joseph. Um, I mean, even Benjamin St. Juice is a good option. Uh, Take Allen's a good option. Those guys I'm willing to wait for. Um, yeah, it's not really worth trading up. Yeah, if anything, we're looking for a trade down. Yeah, I think at this point, if anything, we're looking for a trade down. Wow, Z is going. Ugh. The thing is, what am I trading up for? Maybe make a case for Wyatt Davis, but I'm not trading up for Wyatt Davis. Like, I know some people be like Najee Harris. I'm not taking. I'm not taking a running back. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. There goes Joseph, Campbell, Davis, Trey Brown, Hayden Turner. Wow, Landon Dickerson's still here. That's wild. Um, I mean, Aline McNeil's kind of nice. No one offered me a trade down. Kind of sad. So if like, yeah, if we're we're going to have to trade up for a corner or else we're not going to come out of the first round with one. Who are still left? Like Aaron Robinson's a slot. Better in a man-heavy scheme. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's switch. I know. There's no way Najee Harris is here at this pick, by the way. Um, I, I like Lee McNeil a lot. I got him at like 54 on my board. So, yeah. So, I think with that, bam. I just don't know what we're trading up for, man. If we trade up, I can't even switch to my board. Utter nonsense. Quinn and Miners. Landon, Landon Dickerson can play guard, he has played guard. Paulson, yeah, I, I think we're trading up. 
Uh, and it's a fourth rounder next year, right? Yeah. I'll take that. I'm, I think we're going to take Paulson and Debo. There we go. All right. I feel good. Um, tight end. I mean, yeah, probably, probably not going to get it. Because what? Yeah, Atlanta's got our pick. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're not going to get a tight end. Um, if we get one, it's later in the draft. We'll look for a receiving one. Uh, yeah, there they go. Uh, but I really like our first, like our, like day one and two, solid. Linebacker, you know, it's still a notion here, but I mean, it is what it is. I wanted pass rush. I wanted corner. Two, those are probably the two biggest things for a defense like this. You now you are, I think you are better equipped to face a team like the Chiefs defensively. Uh, we'll see what's sitting around with our next pick, but no, we don't even have a fourth rounder. We're we're going to the fifth. I forgot we don't even have a fourth. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what's available for us. Uh I mean at this point we we could look, see if any solid linemen are still left defense or offensively. Um we could look at the receiver position. I'm sure once I switch to my board, there's going to be a ton of guys I like still on the board. Wow, Rashad Weaver still here? That's Jalen Darden. I know the NFL is not, not high on Darden. I assume they won't be. I, I For me, I really can see Jalen Darden not going the first two days. Um, I want to look at linebacker. Yeah, and it's kind of, yeah. Let's look at not tackle, but <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Um, let's go ahead and look at tight end. I mean, John Baines ain't bad, but I mean, hey, yo, if Darden's here at one sixty one, we take that. We take that. Vertical slot guy, you take that. Oh man, Jalen Darden, dude. Like props for any team that does take him like day two, probably third round. Like, cause smaller guy, pro slot only, probably really only a uh vertical slot guy. Uh comes out of North Texas. Very limited, man. Very limited. So I don't think teams are gonna be too uh too high on it. Oh my god. Gosh, um, wow. Yeah, it's not pretty. Offensive line looks like a no-go at this point. Uh, I guess we, we, I don't mind taking Isaiah McDuffie. Ernest Jones at least is super athletic, or at least athletic enough. It's just cover coverage wasn't so great. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, you. I would have liked Buddy Johnson. I think Buddy Johnson has a better, better shot at becoming a good coverage linebacker. But uh, you could put Ernest Jones definitely into that same category. And on to the six. I mean, maybe we can get value on the uh, offensive line, but you're not going to be able to address everything in one draft, unfortunately. That's, well, that's just the draft. What can I say? I mean, I already took my trade. Um, let's switch back over here. Semi Fahoko, no way he's in six. No, 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 no. Oh uh, yeah, wow. It is it is bad. Maybe Royce Newman. Royce Newman could be a interior guy. Um Chauncey Goldston. 
what about home run threat at running back? Uh, JV on Hawkins might not be a bad option. There's your home run threat y'all missing. Um, I mean, it doesn't fill me with glee. I ain't going to front, but it doesn't. <laughs> uh what's the corner position look like here bryce thompson's not a bad option for the slot actually so let's go with that like taron johnson wasn't that good last year in my opinion there i said it all right we got one more pick i think this is our last pick Anthony Schwartz still be on the board. It's kind of criminal. It'll be interesting to see the how these um, receivers fall. Mm. Um, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Jonathan Cooper is a solid depth choice for the offensive, like for edge. I mean, Cameron Bynum too, but uh, not for Edge, obviously. <laughs> um, what did we do? We kind of double dipped at corner anyway. Um, we got our, oh, we got our linebacker. Um, any safeties that can be linebacker? Sean Davis ain't bad. Uh, Pro Wells still here? Screw it. Let's do it. I like Pro Wells. Uh, he functioned way more in the slot, though. But. No, oh, I'm looking at the wrong guy. I mean, he's got the build. Can maybe learn to be a blocker. But, hey, he offers you better in the passing game than, well, said um dawson knox there we go so the trade they trade back got davy on nixon we trade up got paulson and debo uh i like what we did in the i honestly i love what we did in the first four rounds and then after that we kind of did what we could ernest jones at least someone there at maybe provide competition if not depth at linebacker Bryce Thompson, I think, immediately can contend for that slot corner spot. And then Pro Wells, because ah, let's get a playmaker, man. Pro Wells, he operated mainly out of the slot, but eh, man, not half bad. Not half bad. We know we get at least a good receiving threat. Dawson Knox, he did suffer some drops. But uh, you let me know what you think in the comment section below. Indulge in that nice, beautiful football discourse and until next time you be easy my friends later